Thank you for coming back to my channel. This was called to my attention earlier today, and I put it together. Man has three parts. The inner part is a soul, the spirit, the flesh, which is, which is the body. The soul is where we are saved for eternity. The soul belongs to God. The spirit is a spirit man. The flesh, which is a body, is where Satan lives. And there is we, where we are always tempted. Always. Always. Now, I'm going to be in 1 Thessalonians 5, 23. And the very God of peace sanctified you holy. And I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And now I'm going to be in Romans 8, 10. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. Therefore, the soul is where you will be saved for eternity. Once a soul is saved, once that person has repented, his soul is saved for eternity because God is eternity. Forever your soul will be saved. No one or anything can hinder that. Ever. I don't care what happens. Your soul is saved for eternity. Do you understand? Nothing. At Once God has your soul, you give it to him by accepting him and repenting and confessing with your mouth, your soul is saved for eternity. The Spirit is where the Holy Spirit lives. So when you receive Holy Spirit, the soul and the Spirit become one. Now you, are, your soul and your spirit are, are one with God and the Holy Spirit, which is Jesus. And the flesh is outside. The flesh is outside of the soul and spirit. Once you are, your soul is saved and you are sealed with the Holy Spirit in your spirit and repent it and confess with your mouth, all of your sins are forgiven. All of your sins are forgiven. Do you understand? There is no turning back. Eternity is eternity. Once you save your soul, once your soul is saved, that is forever. 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 I'm going to be in Ephesians 1. Um, let me see. Once uh, 13, in whom also after ye believed, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Did you hear that? It is a promise from God. Do you understand? When Jesus hung on the cross, he said, Father, it is finished. And he, he, he came to die for our sins. He came in the flesh. He crucified the flesh. So that we can come and repent. Because he came and he bought us. He bought our salvation. You understand? So Jesus was done with all that. Again, in Ephesians 2, 5. Even when we are dead in sin. He quickened us together with Christ by grace. By 
Grace. So that that is that you need to understand that because we there are three parts. You need to understand that the flesh which is the body outside, that is where Satan lives. Satan tempt us, tempts us every day, every minute, every second of the day. We are always, always going to be tempted. But know this, that once you repent and come to Jesus, your soul is saved for eternity. Because see, in the realm that Jesus comes from is eternal. It's forever forever and all your sins are forgiven that is the promise it's the promise from god and in i'm going to be in romans 8 10 and if christ be in you the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. Do you understand? Your soul is saved forever. And the flesh is outside the soul. It's outside. Father says that anything you do outside, the soul and the spirit, it is not of him. It is of Satan. It is of the flesh. And so you are sinning against yourself and against God. So once you understand that your inner, your inner person is a soul, which is a male, and the spirit, which is Holy Spirit, and the flesh is outside. The flesh and the soul and the spirit are separate. The soul, unless the soul, unless you are 100 fold, the soul and the spirit and the flesh will be saved. They will be saved. The 30%, the 30% fold, the 30 fold is your soul saved for eternity. The 60-fold, your soul and your spirit, that you are sealed with this Holy Spirit for eternity, are saved. Now, the 100-fold, your soul, your spirit, your flesh, your body, they're all saved. That's why God in Scripture, which is the seed in us, the seed, the seed in us is the Word. And he talks about the 30-fold, the 60-fold, and the 100-fold. We have choices. God has given us choices. He's giving us a choice that once you save your soul, you are mine. No matter what happens to the flesh, it doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter what you do in the flesh. Your soul is saved for eternity. And in the Spirit, which is Jesus in your heart, you are saved with the Holy Spirit for eternity. Do you understand? And all of your sins are forgiven. All of them. God tells us that in, the, in this last days that man is going to deceive us. We've been so lied to that the simple gossip is foreign to us. We don't comprehend the simpleness of the, of the gospel because they've complicated it. They've made it impossible to obtain and God is saying no once your soul is saved and you come and you repent and you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and your Savior then your soul is saved forever do you understand let no man deceive you let no man deceive you ever remember that the flesh is there's always going to be some temptation because there that is where Satan lives that is where Satan lives. That's why when Mary Magdalene came before Jesus, and she was a mess. She had seven demons, and he cast them out. And when he cast them out, he told her, 
go and sin no more. It's as simple as that, okay? Do yourself a favor. If you read scripture, which is a seed in us, the word, God, you will find peace. Peace. God wants us to have peace. When you receive the Holy Spirit, the evidence of receiving Holy Spirit and being sealed with the Holy Spirit is peace. It's not speaking in tongues. That's one of the gifts. One of the gifts. The Holy Spirit, when He manifests in us, He is the one that decides which of the, of, the, of, the, of the gifts that he has that belong to him, he's going to manifest in us. So Jesus, when he left, he gave us two uh, commandments. He says, love thy father with all of your heart, mind, and soul. Peace I leave with you. And the other one is love thy neighbor he knew that if he gave us peace be with peace i leave you and love thy neighbor if you can love thy neighbor if you can love the enemy you're definitely a child of god you get it because it's really hard to love your enemy sometimes it's really impossible to love thy neighbor you know but if you can do that through the holy spirit you're definitely his child, okay? So I'll talk to you later. And um, if you have any questions, bring it to the Holy Spirit. Bring it to Father God. And he will. He will give you the answer you're looking for. But know that we are created of three parts. And they're all separate until we bring them together. Okay? So I'll talk to you later.